Well, this was from Milne Stadium. Let's go to it. Del Norte taking on Española Valley. And Charles, this right here is Mikel Schnecksnyder. There we go. That's right, with the touchdown. And just like that, it's 6-0 Del Norte after the missed extra point. Look at this over the head of everyone. Josh Belamontes off to the races. And Española Valley is going to take the lead in the first quarter. Belamontes. I like how that sounds. Right there. And right here, we're going to have Tony Swanson roll out from Jackson. Jackson is so elusive back there. That's what I like about him. And again, fake the handoff. Jackson says, no, I'm going to hand it off this time. Swanson. So he did it from the backfield and out of the backfield. Well, Jackson had a big game. Rolls out. It's going to fire to Curtis Gillespie for the touchdown. And it's Del Norte rolling 20-6. Well, nice. not done was Española Valley. Tommy Trujillo to the outside, up and into the end zone. It's a touchdown for Del Norte. And right here, Mr. Electricity Terrell. He's Mr. Sick. Jackson sick. for the score. Nice run, Mr. Jackson. Right, and your here's turn. your man again, Markel. Schneckschnader! What a nice run outside. Look at the blocking. Good blocking. That name's you out of control. Schneckschnader. <laughs> we mentioned Josh Belamontes. Check this out. He's going to get to the outside. This from 48 yards away, down the sideline, stretch it out, nice. up and into the end zone. Touchdown, 48 yard run. But That's nice. Del Norte is going to win it big time, Charles. So the Knights, they're rolling in their district. They got a chance if they win this district, which everyone thought they could. Uh huh. Then, then they can sneak into the playoffs. And, and this is something that Binkley's been praising to his team: is look, we got a chance to get in, and when you mm -hmm. get in. You know, when you get in, anything could happen. They were competitive in those games. So don't, don't let the 3-5 the and five record fool you, okay? You have to say, well, did they lose by a lot? Or are they getting blown out? They were competitive in these games, built them up for what they're doing now. They lost a lot from that really good team last year. So these are new guys in new roles starting to come into their own right now. I want to talk about I Terrell I like Jackson. Yes. That's, I want to talk about Terrell Jackson. He is nasty. <laughs> he is. Nasty, nasty. And I, I just want to make it. No, okay. If if he were to play for a 6A school, Charles, I really think he'd be a starting quarterback, and and he would be a handful to deal with with the with a, a more powerful offensive line. I'm not saying Del Norte is you know doesn't have a, a more powerful offensive line. What I'm saying is is Del Norte doesn't have the attendance to pick and choose from a lot agree. of players that most of 6A schools do. So Terrell yes. Jackson, you are a man amongst boys. There's there's no. I question. hope people watch him because you're you're absolutely right. That He's guy great. is electrifying. And he's, he really just carries that team. So kudos to the young man. Okay, so now let's step up to the 6A world. And this was from District 1, yes. 6A. Maybe the best district in the state, some may say. Yeah. The number one team in the land, the Real Rancho Rams, taking on the Volcano Vista Hawks, who are just plummeting. Am I right? <laughs> They're <analogy>. plummeting. <laughs> yes. They're coming down. <laughs> but, Charles, we thought there was a chance, as uh -huh. we head to these highlights, if Volcano Vista can win against Real yes. Rancho, from Community Stadium. This was on Friday night. Let's see. And look, that's Easton Brewer. That's Brady Patterson. <laughs> if you haven't heard of him, then you haven't been paying attention. Okay. Here's in the second quarter. It's zero zero. It's close, but Patterson into the end zone. Touchdown. His 17th of the season. Brewer's just strolling, isn't he? Close, but here comes the onslaught. Ikeka Waters. My man, just stop right here. Fourth down. Which is like, wow. Okay, fourth down. Volcano's got something going, right? Wrong. Luhan, look at my man is so is shifty nasty. out there. Catches it, stops on the dime, changes direction. Luhan is nasty, so let's just keep it with Luhan <laughs> then, right? The return from the two yard line and check this guy go when he hits mm. that hole. He hits it look a little that. shake. See? Got across the 40, spun around, and finally tripped up at the 46 yard line. So that's gonna set up well This is my nomination. Brady Patterson. Look, just throw him the rock. Oh, it's going to be picked. No. Brady <laughs> Patterson says, give me that rock all the way up to the 13 yard line. And we say thousands of names every week for Real Rancho. Here's another name. Matt Jackson out the backfield. Nice pass. Nice swing pass. Jackson takes it to the lane, to the hole. Touchdown. They're rolling. And Easton says, ah, oh, I can sling it around a little bit. I sling it around. No one's open. I'm looking. I'm looking. <laughs> Got some time in the pocket. I'm going to get a run. I'm going to just run because since no one's back there, he nice way to get a slot. He could have made himself a snack. Yeah, he he could have worked in the refrigerator. <laughs> Got a... <laughs> he was hanging out. A cake of waters <laughs> is going to hammer it through. That's a touchdown. Standing up. And then, for good measure, Angelo Lujan. Ooh, a little cut at the five. Up and in. Touchdown. Real Rancho, Real Rancho, Real Rancho, Rams, Rams, Rams. They get it done. 42 0 Smash Volcano at Community. Number one team in the land. There's no question right now. At least Santa Fe scored. 
I'm just saying. Now, now I'm starting to wonder if Volcano's kind of given up on this. Wow. They're not. I'm just. I know. No, I I agree because they don't look 42-0. We know what type of weapons they have. Josh Williams, Barton, Domenico Chavez, you have a decent line. To not score. Does this show wow. that Real Rancho's legit defensively? It, it, I mean, we have to take it was fantastic. Look, he's a linebacker that can fly around. You saw his fullback play. Yeah. We didn't get to see any of his tackles, but he's all over the yes. field. He's the Domenico leader was defense. gobbled up by a cake of waters almost every other play. So, Jeremy Arroyo, the defensive mm -hmm. end, not giving getting enough credit, I think, in, the, in that defensive backfield. I mean, the Rams can legit. fly. They swarm. They're legit. They're, they're big. They're <laughs> fast. And they take you out your element. Think about it. They're so explosive. So you're, they're, they tend to get up by 21, 28 points. It takes a team who may be a running team out of their rhythm and make you do things that you're not used to doing, accustomed to doing. You're probably throwing the ball more than what you should be. That defense benefits from that offense. But the defense, not to take anything away, looks very impressive. Okay, so that brings up the Real Rancho Rams taking on the Siebel Cougars, who are 4-2. and two. Siebel are very high right now. They feel mm -hmm. that they could win this one. I actually ran into Sam Garcia's yeah. dad the other day. Yesterday. He said, hey, man, watch <laughs> out. I think we're ready. Look, not trying to add fuel to this, but fuel. Look, Real Rancho Siebel doesn't Siebel need fuel. won last yeah, year. Exactly. Okay. That's Siebel the fuel. Real Rancho last year. They think they, they can win this game. It's going to be from Real Rancho Stadium. Look, we're going to have that for you live on Channel 27. Okay. It's a U Sports Network powered by Pro huh? Networks production on okay. Channel 27. Channel 26 will be El Dorado Eagles, or excuse me, the Sandia Matadors taking on the La Cueva Bears from District 2. Big That's games. big. La Cueva off their bye. Sandia just off their loss to, to El Dorado. So both two huge games. I like Either that. which one you pick, you're going to get a good one. So you one, can just I, flip I flop, don't matter. 26, right. 27, we got it for you. We got you covered right here. But real rancho, man. I, if, I, if I'm real Rancho, you're flying high. The defense is playing you, well. One more. If, if Cleveland somehow drops to Volcano Vista this week, can Volcano Vista get to get a uh, No. I mean, get into that state I, tournament. I just can't see them we'll get, talk about that I more it, at yeah, 3 we'll and out. We'll that. have our playoff predictions at 3 and out uh, when we return here. So keep it right here. U Sports Central. How about them real Rancho Rams? Looking good. Yeah.